My name is Steven Annie, and in this video, we'll be learning something new in Blender. In this video, we'll be learning how to model and texture a very simple car here. So, when we start with this, we can be able to just drag this up a bit because we're going to use this cube for our work. <clears throat> so, I'll select my scale and um, let me just scale this on the y axis this way. But before I do that, I will go into edit mode. So you press your tab or go over there. Press Ctrl R and click and select and then click again to accept it. So go into your face selection mode, select just one side of it. So I would like to select this part of it. Holding shift to select each one. And then press X and delete the face. So we're going to add the mirror modifier. So this will enable us to be able to model something on one side and have it appear on the other side. And also remember when you need mode, if you should press E and move this, it will separate. But if you bring them together and click on the clipping, you cannot be able to separate them again. And that's what we want. So I want this and I'll quickly select my skill and scale this down a bit this way because this is what I want <clears throat> so I'll press ctrl R and I'm going to cut it into four this time around so um, I will be creating more loop cuts later but now I want to start with this so this part will be for this will be the roof so I'm going to select these two select it this way so i would like to click hold this and then i'm holding shift and selecting that too <coughs> so i'm gonna go back a bit like that i would like to have this one come up this way so i'm actually building a sort of sci-fi car so you're going to see what i'm building soon enough drag this one up this way so I'll select the face and bring the face up a bit this way make sure you're dragging these things on the axis so that it will be straight <coughs> so with this now I can be able to press ctrl R and I'm going to put some loop cuts here. I'm gonna put three. So for this one, I'm going to use this face here and select here and drag this backwards this way. But I would like to select the whole of this and drag it backwards. So you actually see what's happening here. I want to also scale this in. So I'm going to go ahead to select this and I'll continue trying to make it look good. So I'll go into deep mode again and I would like to have this face here, this part, and this one come out just a bit this way. And then this one just come out a bit that way. So I have a very curved front. So let's make sure it's actually okay. All right, so I think this is okay. So quickly, I will go into the other part of it. So I'm going to put some loop cuts and this loop cut here. So I just press Ctrl R and then put a loop cut that will be cutting the edge here. This way we'll be building our screen and then up another one here so I would like to stop somewhere here so I'm going to use this part to build the windows so I'm going to just drag it up a bit here and select this one this and 
like this and drag it up to this point here so these ones we might not need it right now so we're just gonna leave it for the meantime i would like to drag this down a bit because we're gonna use to build the lights later so for the the tires i will try to make this to be i want to model the tires the holes for the tires so i'll put a loop cut here <coughs> So I'm going to stop this here. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to also put a loop cord somewhere here. And I'm going to be using this part and this part. I would like this to also stop somewhere here. So, and then I think I will also want to stop somewhere here. Let's remove that. Control R. Make sure you're on the vertical. Let's go back a bit. Now, we're not using accurate measurement for this particular thing because we're trying to make it just look uh, good. So, we'll have this. I'm trying to make sure that this point and this point and this point and this point are almost the same size. So I'm just going to use that. So, in a case where you have issues with uh, measurement, you can simply just build your tires first so I'm just going to go ahead and click and I'm going to bring in a circle and enter into edit mode rotates on the x axis or let me use y axis 90 degrees skeleton E to extrude on the x axis, I'm going to do something like this and then edit mode, control R and delete just one part of it. So I'm just going to select, hold control and double click to select the entire thing. Let the face go into your mirror modifier again, turn on clipping. So we'll quickly select the edge so I can hold control, double click on this. So if it doesn't work, I will select just one of the edges here. Go to select and uh, edge loop. So I'm going to bring this back a bit. E again, click, drag it out and scale in like that. E, X, move. Accept it, press S to scale it in. So I have something like this. <coughs> then E, click S to scale in. So I have something like this. So I'm going to E and I want it to go inside like that. So there are several designs we can be able to put. So, but I will do that uh, later. Press F to face it. So I just have something that is very simple like that. So I'm just going to work with this for the meantime. Press um, click here, add a bevel and reduce this. Increase a bevel, increase this. Right click and auto smooth. I think this will do it for us. So I would like to scale this down a bit. Sorry, on the X axis. Something like this. Let's go up a bit. Bring this down. So we want our tire to be somewhere here. So I think this will do a good job for us. Okay, so we'll have this. So with this, I can just shift D and scale this and, and duplicate this and bring it back to this place. So we're going to be using this to model these tires so if you look at the tires what we have here now it's not uh, close to what we want so I'm going to bring this forward a bit here so select this so now that means I have to select this one and I'm going to use the select edge loop and just drag it out okay I think this will affect this so we'll just create a new here so somewhere here 
we're going to create another one here to enable us to pull up distance and um, this one let's leave that one there so we use that pull this one here so we'll have about one two three four five points so here we'll have we already have one here one two three four so we need a fifth one here for the edge here all right so right now select this and this and press h to hide them and uh, select this and enter deep mode and i would like to select this part so if you look at what is happening here so i would like to select this one and let's push it up a bit like this uh, let's see if this will do it for us nope so I'm just going to quickly select this I think we we'll have to align this down here so we're going to align these ones to be straight as much as possible okay, these ones are straight so we're gonna select this select one two three four so we have five of them one two three four and then let's try extruding oh that will not work so let's try pulling it up like this i think this will do so we'll have something like this so these edges here we can just select them and pull them up to but i will select the entire thing select the entire loop so that should be an edge select loop and drag it up so that it doesn't interfere with my other parts of my design so i'll quickly select this and go back here and select these faces here okay so if you can see what is happening here we're having a little problem here so what we can do is to press ctrl r and put a loop cord here so that we can pin this ones to the floor. If you look at what is happening here, we we'll like to put these ones here. So we can select this and this and push them down to this place because we don't want them to go beyond that area. So so we are trying to actually get exactly this. And I think we also have that problem here. So I will select this one, select this and drag it down here. We'll have this and also here, uh, I have um, one, two, three, four, five. So I have this, so I would like to select this one and drag it down too. So press Alt H to bring back this and uh, I think we'll just go under here and select these guys here again. We'll have four of them. And I'll quickly just drag this up to somewhere there. Okay, so I think here will be good. These are the edges here. So come over here and enter into deep mode and select these faces here. Drag this closer to the tire and this one closer to the tire, not too close. I think we have to go back a bit to give the tire some rooms to rotate. Select this part. If this is blocking you, um, you might want to enter into your Z mode so you'll be seeing what you're doing. So you can select this part and push it back a bit like that. So we have this. Select 
this. Push this in. So I would like to go back to my normal mode, select this and this, and I'll pull them up like this. I think this is good. Also select that one. Pushing back a bit. So if you need to actually adjust this area, you press Ctrl R, put another loop cut here, and then select this and uh, just adjust this up. The fastest way to do this is using booleans, but we want to actually model this because we're trying to build a, a different kind of car here. So I'm just going to make sure that we, I make it uh, as smooth as possible. So without putting too many loop quotes. So I have this. I think here will be good. I think this is good. Okay. So we'll have this here. So select this one. And select this and this and that. And pull them up to here. This one is good. Select here. Push it back a bit. Select here. Push it back a bit. And I'll select this one and that one. Hold my skill and scale them together. That. That's too much. Okay. I think this is okay. Select this one and take it up. So bring this one down, bring this in, bring it down, shift it back. Okay, so I think we can work with this. So when we actually add our subdivision modifier, it will actually look better so select here and uh, simply I'm going to go ahead to add some restriction here for my windows so but before then I would like to put the demarcation for the two windows Control R and then put this here in case you don't know how to do this, Ctrl R, move your middle mouse button forward and then click and click again and you can scale it in. So I think there is some misalignment somewhere around. So to deal with that, I will just simply come in here and pull this up. That's how you deal with it. So we'll have this here, select this and this and that this and this and that select this one this one this one this one okay I'll press E and click and I'm going to change this my scaling mode now now this is a new thing so let me um, that should be here click here and tell the point to be individual origin so if I click on individual origin that means if I scale it will scale for each person but if you notice here, when I was scaling on the medium points, it will scale together. Can you see that? So that's the difference. So if you want to scale things separately, you want to select things and scale them separately, you can use individual points and scale them this way. And then E, let's go out a bit, E again, and then go inside this way. I think this would do the job for us. So we need to put demarcations for the car we could do that if we need to but for the meantime let's focus on texturing because that's the main thing we want to tackle here so i'm just going to select here and go ahead to
chain this remember to chain this back to medium point because that's where normally all the modeling, all the edit, uh, scaling you'll be doing will be so i'll be here and quickly let's go into getting this so i'm just going to select this remember our materials we're going to come to that version so before we do that let's add our let's press ctrl a apply skill and let's apply bevel and see what bevel will do to this so we'll have something like this so we have Okay, so look at what the bevel has done to our car. So let's smoothen it. Rather, let's use auto smooth. And um, I think it's okay. So let's also add a subdivision modifier. Let's save our work. Let's call it a sci fi car. So I'm going to add a subdivision modifier. Let's see what it's going to do to our work. So if you look at what is happening here, it's actually uh, making it more rounded, but I don't think we we'll need something like that. So let's remove that and uh, shift flaps. So I think this is okay. All right, so what will happen right now is that you come in here, we will need to also get the thing for the glass here select here select here you want to select things very fast you can press C and just click when you're done you right click to remove that so I'll press E click to accept and then scaling and then E to move in like that so you can see what is happening here now I'm just using just normal BVM modifier to achieve this particular effect here. So, other things we want to do is for the light and everything. So, let's go ahead to go into material because that's the main thing I want to tackle here. So, I'm going to go to materials. And the box already has a material as the car itself. So, I'm going to name it car. And, um, going to go just go ahead to make it a bit metallic and turn down the roughness and I'll go over here and turn on my ambient let me go into my rendered mode sorry don't use rendered mode yet use this mode here that's the viewport shading the material mode because you're working with materials so turn on the bloom turn on the screen space and uh, the refraction if you come in here and you want to have um, let's start with a white color so that's the metallic there and that's roughness if you want it to be completely rough so something like this so let's make this um, let's start with a set of dark blue car I think red should be better okay so right here i'm going to add another material and this will be the glass so select here so now i'm selecting here i'll click assign go over here click on this 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 hold shift to be selecting this and that and that and that and that then select the glass and assign to so we'll have this so we haven't done the back so i'm going to select this too and select this and select this and select this while holding shift press e click to accept scale it in and then e to move in and then select the glass assign so i have something like this right now so for the glass, I'm going to change the surface from principal shader to a glass material. So turn on this, very important. So if you look at what is happening here now, I can just come down here. If you look at roughness, if you reduce the roughness, you actually see that the glass is becoming more transparent right now. 
so we we'll have something like this so depending on what you change it could actually you know, change the look of your work so let's add a new material so that would be the lights so let's call this the front light so the let me call it the the glow lights the glow white light so the glow white lights i'm going to enter back here and i'm going to select somewhere here 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 and here and i would like to just scale it up just e scale it up this way so you see something like that that's what we want and we're going to assign it this and this would be a different material click and emission so if you look at emission so i'm going to make it to be sort of a blue kind of emission so we'll have that there and then we'll have another light here so i'm going to like to select this move this up a bit select here and assign a different light now i want to create a new material so in, in object mode while selecting the car i'll click on plus sign again click on new and call this my glow red light so my glow red light i'm going to just assign this light change it to uh, an emission and make the emission to be red so decrease the red so i think i'm using six let me use six here so I have this and I would like to also extrude it this time around I would like to go inside okay, do something like this then for the back I would like to select this part and use the glow red light to it and this time around i want to scale it up scale it out like that and i would like to have these parts curved a bit let's select here They look caught here select this one and this one and this one and this one and push them inside this way so we'll have this style of uh, design here and select here here I'm gonna select here 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 and here and push it up a bit this way so we'll have something like this so we'll select here i want to create some lights here to make it stylish i would like to make this one to be carving so let's leave it this way bring this up like that select this two and add a glow it's this is cool and extrude it out a bit too so we'll have something very simple like that so remember here we'll have um i think uh, we'll have here i think this is okay for the meantime for this particular design so we'll have other things that we can add like the side mirror but the sci-fi card might not need a side mirror because it's going to be using an automatic mirror from the inside select this and click on this for the tires and 
I would like to make it a very black tire. So I'm not going to add a texture for that yet. So reduce the roughness. If you want it to be shiny, we don't need that here. Reduce the specular and the metallic. We can increase just a bit. Select this one, tire. Select both of them. Uh, I would like to push them inside more, like that. And this is good. And shift D and move it to that side. So while selecting this, select all of them. Hold shift, select a car, press Ctrl P to keep transform, and this will enable you. Whenever you move this, the car also goes with it. So this is a, a very simple car that we have built right now. So let's go ahead to build the environment that this car will be traveling inside. So I'll press Shift A, add a plane, and scale it. Press A and select everything. I like bringing it up above the grid. Select this and let's add a basic texture. So that's from Blender itself. Add a new material. Let's call this floor. And I'm going to use the base color. If you look at now, you can change the base color to any color, but we want it to be different. So click here, sorry, click here and add a checker texture. So once you add a checker texture, it's going to give you a checkerboard. Change the color here to black. And let's style it about, uh, let's say, 80 times. So we'll have something like this. Okay. So we'll have just a floor. I'm scaling it more. S. Move your mouse. I think, uh, let me go for 160. Okay, I think this is okay for the meantime. So I want to build a sort of road that is going to be traveling on. So I will quickly uh, use my 3D cursor click and bring in a cube. Now this cube is going to form the road tiles. I even think we might have to scale this. Let me select this and even go. Let me just go for 1000. And I want it to just be very, very tiny. Yeah, I think I need that. So select this now. And scale this in, scale this out. So in edit mode, um, I will let me apply a material. Let me call this the white. Uh, the white. And enter into edit mode. Shift D. Put another one here. Now remember there are one object just like this so it's more like a road tile or the path for the road so i'm gonna click here click on the new and uh, call here black as a name for it i can't remember the name here so we can be able to well once i just build it you understand what i mean so enter into edit mode select this and click assign this to the black so let's change this to a black color so you have something like this. Always remember, add your bevel on it. So we can use the normal bevel, but I don't want to use bevel here. That's the edit mode bevel too. So, but I don't want to use it right now. So I just want to use this one. Control A, apply skill. So, so reduce this, and this is okay. So I would like to scale this down just a bit like that and scale it up a bit like that and push it into the floor. So we'll have something like this. <coughs> so add an array modifier. Now the array is adding it on this axis, so we we'll want it to be rather on the y axis. So let's make it to be one. Now increase. So 
let's push it back like that so let's change the color of this to a red oh and a black let me see what it's gonna look like uh -huh. so the floor is you know it's quite more interesting now so we'll have something like this because i want you to be able to reflect this tiles here that's this white and black root part that we are creating here that will make the floor to be darker so we'll have this you can actually go for a longer one so you can just scale it up here too if you want to so you can just scale it up bring it back a bit like that Let's check. That's too much. Okay, so we'll do Shift D and scale this to this part. Okay, so we'll have this. So right now, I would like to go into my rendered mode. And select this, bring this down a bit like that. So drop this here. I think this will want to go on the where is this a bit. Let's demarcate the road G, Y, or X rather. Let's put something here. I think this should be okay. G, X something like this I think it's okay so for the world you see what you're actually seeing right now looking so good so you can change this from color here to a sky texture so let's change it to a sky texture right now so we'll get a more realistic light we change this initiative to let's start with the pre time and see what it's gonna look like Okay, so I uh, reduce the, the lights. We'll have this. So you can either use this one or you use this one here. I think this one should be the one for in the evening time. So you have something like this. So this is basically how you can be able to build a very simple uh, 3D scene, uh, a car, and texture it using the Blender uh, texture tools. So the next video will be working with textures and we'll be dealing more with materials and uh, our own textures that we've created. Alright, see you in the next video.